Oh. Xbox. Ugh. I do we need to talk about the Xbox. I would have talked about this yesterday. I didn't have time. So, basically, there have been rumors that Xbox could be potentially no longer doing first-party games and instead publishing as just whatever the fuck and discontinuing Xbox, or at least making it a much more minor thing. Following media reports claiming that first-party Xbox games could soon start appearing on PlayStation. Oh my fucking god. Can you imagine them, like, allowing their video games to be on the PlayStation? What the fuck? Oh my god. This would be horrible, right, guys? I mean, jeez. Microsoft is even considering bringing Gears of War franchise to PlayStation. Hi-Fi Rush and Indiana Jones could be released to PlayStation. The company will share details about its vision for the future of Xbox next week. Yeah, and so the Xbox Andes have gotten so... Like, their feelings have been hurt by this so much that Phil Spencer himself has had to come out and he's going to be doing, like, an emergency press conference because all of the Starfield copium addicts are thinking to themselves, wait a minute, if this game's on PlayStation 2, PlayStation as well, like, why do I even still have to defend it? Like, what was, what's my whole life, what's my whole last year of my life been for if not to defend Starfield by defending Xbox through proxy? What is this? Consoles in 2024. Here's what my perspective is on this. This is the most pathetic thing to get mad about that I've ever heard of. This is fucking embarrassing. This time, listening will not be enough. This time, execution, credibility, and connection with previously made statements and moving towards fans will all that's matter. For me, for your brand, and for your community. Xbox family, you probably need to hear this. I'm staying off Twitter for the rest of the day. I need to process this. Morning, Twitterverse. Seems like these rumors are true. Reached out this morning to a couple of people who are in the know. It seems like these rumors are true. Um, it does seem like Starfield is going to PlayStation. It does seem like the conversations about Indiana Jones. This seems like it's true. The people I'm talking to would know, and... Yeah, I initially woke up this morning and was like, dude, everyone calm down, this is a rumor, but it, it, it's, I think this is true, guys. So, it means a lot of things, right? And there's a lot of aspects, I'm still processing this. Now, the best way for them to go about doing this, if they're gonna do this, would have been to have had a pro, or, you know, their Xbox Series XX, or whatever the hell they're gonna call it, um, and release a more powerful, piece of hardware to say hey yeah you can play these games over here but this is the most powerful place to play them conversely if playstation launches a pro and they're dropping their exclusives over on playstation there's no reason to have an xbox that's a that's a, a bit of a bit of pill to swallow This is real. So as I said, I'm still processing this. I'm, so I'm, I'm on my first morning coffee. Um, <laughs> but if this is true, I think it's a massive misstep. I think uh, as a fan and a supporter of the brand for 20 years, I put hundreds of thousands of dollars into this brand over time. Um, then just buy a PlayStation. It does feel like a bit of a betrayal. It really does. You need to stop. But you need this. This needs know to stop. I'm going to get some clarity on what's going this on. This needs soon. to stop. That I know for a fact. So, I guess for me, I'm not going to freak out about anything. It's good to speculate, have the conversations, um, but just hold the line, man. Hold that line until we know what's going on. Don't lose your shit over. It's not a rumor. It is a rumor, but it's I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a true rumor. 
but we don't know all the facets, all the ins and outs. And until we do know that, there's no point losing your shit yet. So everyone just chill fuck out. Wait and see what the leadership has to say. And then we'll go from there. Hey, at the end of the day, man, it's video games. This ain't your life. All right? Everyone chill out. Peace. No, oh, he's right about that. Why is it that we have 38-year-old men going to war with each other over which bootleg PC is better. How is this our reality? This is insane. The PlayStation 5 is great. The Xbox back in the day was great. The 360 was great. The PS4 was great. How can you possibly attach your... Like, I, I don't understand why you would want this. Like, if Nintendo came out yesterday, or t tomorrow, I mean, or preferably yesterday, and they said, guys, we're publishing all of our titles on Game Pass and on PlayStation tomorrow, I would say, fuck yes. I'm so happy. Because now I can play all of these games without having to worry about using different hardware. There is no functional reason that the quality of your experience will be improved by playing it on a different piece of hardware. Other than the fact that maybe the other one is like kind of better. Listen, the new Xbox and the new PlayStation, they're not really that much different as far as I know. They're about the fucking same. Like, what are we talking about here? It's the same, it's the same thing, yeah, it is. No, the, the Switch sucks. Yeah, it definitely sucks. But that's just Nintendo, right? What do you expect? They've been doing that ever since GameCube. And so anyway, remember Nintendo 64? It was so, it was named after how good it was. <laughs> not, not anymore. We don't do that anymore. This is unbelievable. That there are Xbox Andes out there. And the scary fucking thing about it is that they are grown men. Like, I would expect this to be like a kid, and he's got one hand on the Xbox controller, the other hand on a can of Monster Energy, and he's just fucking ready. You know, he wants to get into the next lobby for Modern Warfare, right? He wants to play Warzone, another round of Warzone. Like, but this, these are grown-ass men, man. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? How can you possibly care about whether something is on an Xbox or a PlayStation? You spend hundreds of thousands of dollars? Well, then don't go and tell me that you can't spend 500 for a fucking PlayStation. Come on. What are the replies to the video? Fifty billion years old and you're tweeting as if you just lost a family member. Please get a job. Little fella, I probably earn twice of what you do and I only work six months of the year. Then why are you getting mad? You gotta buy another console. The, the PS exclusives are outsold 3 to 1 by third party and PlayStation. PlayStation players don't even buy their own exclusives. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I don't care. Like, what? Why would I care about this? I don't care who's buying the game. I just want to play the fucking game. Like, dude, it's like Starfield opened me up to realizing that there is an entire genre of people out there that I didn't even know existed. Maybe you just don't get it. You're loyal to no piece of plastic besides the one that lets you watch 4K videos for four hours a day. If It's kind of like if WoW shut down, just play another MMO. No, it's not like if WoW shut down. It's like if WoW said they're going to be releasing the game on Steam. Or they're going to be releasing WoW on consoles. And if they said that, I'd be like, yes, this is great. More people can play my game. I would be happy. They're not... It's not like Microsoft isn't saying, we're deleting Master Chief. There's gonna be no more Gears of War! They're not 
saying this? Like, what's wrong with these people? I don't even know what to say. Wow on Steam would be crazy. It would be great. I'd love that. Who is this guy? Oh my god. Be happy for all gamers. Yeah. I, I hope Xbox players get to access PlayStation games. See, there's 14 responses. This, in fact, not happen. Lamal. This is Xbox last console generation. There was a time that there was the last... After the Dreamcast, that was the last Sega console. After the TurboGrafx-16, they didn't make another one after that. The Game Boy Advance S... Or the Game Boy DS was the last portable console, unless you want to count Switch, right? Because they kind of combined them. The Jaguar, remember that? Um, Sega Saturn. Well, I guess that was there's Dreamcast after that. Uh, the Odyssey, back in the old days. Hey, what about a fucking Atari? Like, that was my first console I ever played, was an Atari. It's gone. Sega Game Gear, yeah. Neo Geo. PlayStation Vita. Commodore 64. Atari Lynx, the, the 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 mobile the mobile controller game, yes. Guys. The reason why people aren't buying ColecoVision, holy shit! We've got some we got some people with gray beards in the chat. <laughs> you guys remember the, the ancient text? These are so old, man. In television, yes. Oh my god. I have a lot of these downstairs. The reason why people aren't buying Xboxes is a good thing. I wish people would stop buying Nintendos, and I wish they would stop buying Playstations. Because the console war is bad for consumers. The best thing for consumers is for every game to be available on every platform. And every platform that a game is not available on restricts the amount of access that people have to that game. And it makes them have to buy something that is an artificial gatekeeper for them being able to enjoy the entertainment that they want to enjoy. And that sucks. Like, why is it that Bloodborne is stuck on PS4? That's that that's worse for my experience as a as a gamer. Do you think Xbox will fuck or PlayStation will fuck us if Xbox dies? Yeah, probably. Gaming is for gamers, not vendor platforms. Yeah. It's just so weird, man. One issue is that PCs, uh, people hack Madden or FIFA. Oh, really? Well, I'm sorry, but as a former Halo 2 player, I remember many times of uh, joining into a game, going into the connecting, connecting, blue screen, blue screen. Oh, wait, the score's 31 to 0. Okay, blue screen again. Oh, wait, the game's over. You lose. Remember that? That was real fun, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, that was, that was the good old days, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not really going to, uh, I'm not going to give a fuck about that. Standby. Yes, standby. There it is. It wasn't connecting. It was standby. Oh, fuck. Sony PlayStation. We don't do that here. And PlayStation is full of shit for not doing that. Fuck PlayStation. Fuck Xbox. Actually, no. Don't fuck. No, I don't say fuck Xbox because Xbox, in my opinion right now, Xbox is the most ethical and most consumer friendly publisher of video games on the market. I think they're better than Nintendo, and they're better than PlayStation, and it's not even close. They're not paying ridiculous amounts of money. Like, do you know why Death Stranding, or sorry, uh, Death, uh, was it Death Stranded? Uh, the new Kojima game is only on PlayStation? It's probably because PlayStation paid Kojima millions of dollars. So PlayStation is injecting millions of dollars into it. And and again, like, I'll, I have a PlayStation 5. It's right there next to me. I'll play it. Um, but and, and this is just how it is. But... That's just what happens. It's the same as Final Fantasy 16. So a lot of times, these companies are paying for the exclusivity. They're paying for it. And that hurts you as a user. The idea that we have grown men who don't understand that they are fighting over the ability for companies to take advantage of them is so sad. It is fucking pathetic. I hope Xbox dies. I hope PlayStation dies. And I hope Nintendo Switch dies. 
I would love to be in a world where we can just sit there and what do you want to play your game on? And you can play it on whatever platform the developer makes the game for. This manufactured exclusivity is bad for every single gamer. And the only reason why people think it's good is because every once in a while, their bootleg version of a shitty PC gets a video game that the other guy's bootleg version of a shitty PC doesn't get. It's so fucking pathetic. I can't even believe that it still exists. I thought this was gone. I thought this was over. But Starfield told me that it's not. Epic Games is doing just that. Epic Games is totally different. Because you don't have to spend money to buy, to have an Epic Games account. And I'm not saying it's, it, it is absolutely way better, but it's not good. It, it, yeah, it, it's totally fucking different. Like, question, you're going to question mark that? Oh, that's confusing? Oh, it's confusing to you. What's the difference between making an account on Epic Games and downloading the Epic Games launcher that takes you fucking 20 minutes and then buying an actual PlayStation fucking 5? Holy shit. Jesus. Xbox? No. Just, uh, you know he played Gears of War in college. You know he was in the Halo 3 lobbies. For a fact. It's not even a question. And I get it. But you gotta move on, man. Different video for you, man. Oh my god, bro. It's like, look at this. How many of you guys? This is the Xbox fucking thing? Like, I've broken five of these. This is a piece of shit. It's always been a piece of shit. It's coming from the heart right now. What's this? They remember... The beginning of this generation When we had a chance We had a chance Oh, everything was lined up But now it looks like it's over Thank God You gave up on oh, us No, no, he's and got, he's got the X No, he's got the Xbox He's got the X No I know you got a little no. life and you left. What are you doing? I know you got a lot of strength. Throw it. Throw it on. No. I know you got a little Stop. life and you left. I know you got a lot of strength. It's got to be satire. It has to be, right? I should be crying, no. but I just can't let it go. I should be this hoping, is... but I can't stop thinking. All the games we could have played that we What do you mean, Gate? Played. Just All buy a the PC. Trash we could have done that we never Just buy did. a PC. And now them ponies gonna get to laugh at. Us. He's talking about Sony people. Make um, it go. This is Bro, Make did Sony pay this guy away. to do it? He must have paid him. Dude, this guy got paid by Sony. Why did I make this? Why did I make oh this? Does he do custom this? controller mods? Oh, God. Oh, God. Why did I buy this? Oh, I got one. It's right there. Ooh. To play. Why did I buy this? What is th what is this? I know you got a this little is... life and you left. This I know this is just guys. You got a lot of strength left. No, I know man. You got a little life and you left. No, I man. I know you got a. 
Whatever you need, just tell me. I know you got a little life. Those are they're so those are so bad. I know you got a lot of strength. They're so there. bad, bro. Be crying, but I just can't let it It's show. deep. I should be gaming, but I can't stop thinking. All the games we should have played that we never played. Oh my All God. the exclusives we should have had that we never no, did. No, no, no. It hurts too much. Yeah, that headset is Stacked it is pretty tight. Five. I've worn it before. He's right. The levels are over. Peace. He's a self-proclaimed console war content creator where he sang about the situation for three minutes. Xbox influencer Kid Smooth, another X user, changed his Twitter banner to a logo reading "Fuck Xbox." Planet Xbox podcast. Why is every Xbox fanboy old? Did we all just grow up on Halo and we can't move past it? <laughs> is that just what happened? We just can't move on. Fuck. And it was so good, wasn't it? Xbox is doomed. If they're expecting Nintendo and PlayStation to buy Xbox games, they're in for a rude awakening. Of course they will. Why wouldn't they? And it's done. Bye-bye Series X. They don't accept the storage device at GameStop, sadly, so I have a literal paperweight now. But I got USC 5 for my PlayStation 5 and $300 worth of Steam cards. So long, Xbox. It was a good run. And this guy refunded... He actually brought the... Res Adapt has been a long-standing Xbox fan. He followed me for a long time. He has now abandoned Xbox and bought a PlayStation 5. Hopefully, uh, Xbox will take note of these reactions. Let's go. Damn, this shit's ugly as fuck. Okay. Little lie. What the fuck is this, though? Like, I'm sorry, guys, but <laughs> it does look like a miniature urinal. It does. You're right. Um, with speculation about a new strategy, they are releasing a statement on Monday. We are listening and we hear you. We've been planning a business update event for next week. Stay sharing more details about our vision for the future of Xbox. This is what I think Xbox should do. I think that Xbox... There are so many people that probably play. Like, I would buy an Xbox if there were good games for Xbox. But the reason I don't buy an Xbox is because I can buy a PC instead and I can use it to play the games on Xbox. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. And I think there's a lot of people who do the same thing that I do. And I tremendously appreciate Xbox's and Microsoft's uh, commitment to allowing me to do that. And that makes me somebody who totally supports them completely. Like, I have a better perception of Microsoft as a games publisher than Sony or Nintendo. I am a huge Xbox fan, even though I don't have an Xbox. Because they treat me like... Like, I feel like I'm being treated well by them, I guess. Those are treat me like a certain thing about... Yeah, I feel like I'm being treated well by them. And so, Xbox, the truth is, like, Microsoft... The reason why Microsoft does that is because every time you play a game on Windows, Microsoft still wins. 
they still win because you know Microsoft, you know how they like kind of make Windows and there's like PCs and like so they still they still kind of win, right? Don't they? And so they get you to using all that stuff, and then guess what happens? Sony definitely does more of the scummy shit. Yeah, Sony does right now, and that used to not be the case. Like last generation, it wasn't, but this generation it is. Um, exclusives are not for the benefit of the consumer. It is purely for the benefit of the publisher and the manufacturer. There is never a good reason why a game is only available on one console. And obviously some developers only make them for one console. That's their prerogative. They can do that. But paying games to stay exclusive is bad. And I think that about Xbox, I think that about PlayStation, and I think that about Nintendo. It sucks. And I just want to be able to play these games. That's it. I don't care about Sony, Xbox, or Nintendo consoles. It doesn't matter to me. I just want to, yeah, why not PC? Well, I'm saying like with the consoles, right? I'm just talking about consoles. Uh, Xbox traded exclusivity for consumer accessibility. Yes, and I tremendously appreciate them doing that. So it's like people can shit on Xbox all they want for doing this, but this is something that's beneficial for me as the consumer. And I appreciate them doing this. I don't care about what their black box sold. I don't give a fuck about that. Stop making them for all I care. Buy a fucking PC. Buy a PlayStation 5. Why are people attached to the idea of having a Microsoft gaming console? It's stupid. You're saying that because you own a PC and you can run these games? These are grown men that have careers and jobs that can afford to buy a PlayStation 5. This guy said he works six months out of the year, and he makes more than most people make in a whole year. He can afford a PlayStation 5, and he can also afford a PC. I understand if you're, if you're hard up for cash. I get it. I totally get it. Pre-built PCs aren't that expensive now. I, I dream of hopefully one day Starforge can make a $1,000 gaming PC. I would love to sell a $1,000 gaming PC... Right now, it seems like I can't really do that with any sort of like real degree of quality, but that's what I want to be able to do. Yeah, Newegg does it. Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, there are other places that do it, but I don't think that the quality of the PC is high enough to where like I would be happy with it. Because to me, like, truthfully, like, I, I, I care more about providing like a very good product and being liked for the product more than making the optimized amount of money. Like, I just care more about that. I, like, obviously money is important, and I know that I will make money in the process of that, but my goal is always to make the best product, and then if you make the best product, the market will eventually understand that. That's my perspective, right? I'd rather like, make less money and make more sales, because I just think that's a better brand strategy. What's the lowest that you were able to get it down to? I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of waiting for like a couple of advancements. Some, something like, like, imagine if three more things happen that are the equivalent of the advancement that DLSS is. Like if you have three more of those, I think that you might have a thousand dollar PC possible. AI computing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so I'm just waiting for that to happen and then I'll try to make one differentiation through quality rather than quantity well it depends on what it is but anyway let's go back to this thing here about xbox this is tremendous i'm really happy that xbox is is uh is like reevaluating this i think that xbox should reevaluate a lot of things i think xbox obviously needs to take some accountability for the fact that almost every single one of their like halo infinite is a fucking joke redfall is nobody gives a fuck it was it was worse than halo infinite at least halo infinite has people that like it um, hey, nobody likes Redfall. Um, Starfield is has been the uh, has been the main victim of like internet essays about bad modern video games for the last six months. Like Xbox has been a joke, man. Their games have been bad. So like, yeah, you've been trying to do this thing. It's not working. Stop doing it. 